We're Action for Blind People and we specialise in supporting blind and partially sighted people. And by going out to providers like yourself who are on this um, WNF contract, by going to different events and letting them know about the um, consortium and the um, working neighbourhood fund that we've got. And also with the job centres, we're having quite a few good relationships with the DEAs in the job centres. So I, I'm actually going out there on a monthly basis to the job centres in the super output areas. So again, building that relationship, reminding them that we're still here and reminding them of the services that we provide. You need to be out there in the community, you need to be out there actually being where the people are who need us the most. We can't expect them to walk through the door, we need to go out there and actively take our services to them. And outreach is the major key for that. Without outreach, we wouldn't get the clients through the door. Because of my age and being a single parent, I mean, I actually fill, filled three different criteria, and it really is hard to get a job in Birmingham City Centre if you have no experience and then the other thing is that you, you're up against a lot of people that want the same kind of hours as well so everything is quite hard and now the job market wasn't too good. I was currently working uh, for our bank, uh, I was there for nearly five years going on six. Uh, towards the end of Christmas I lost my job and I think it was like you know really hard for me at the time because I was earning good money, had nice things and then all of a sudden I'm having to go to the job centre and I'm reduced to like £101 every two weeks. So I think it was really like a big confidence knock and plus having a daughter too to provide for, you know, made things a bit hard for me. They put me on a food and hygiene course, which I should be due my certificates very soon. They've helped me look for jobs, they've actually found the jobs for me, sorted out appointment, interviews and stuff. They were more pushing me, so nearly every day they had like another job for me. It was really hard, but I think coming to Per Terms they actually gave me the confidence to, you know, get, my, get myself back on my feet really and just encouraged me just to not give up and you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I do think I was lucky, I had an outreach worker come to my house, actually knocked on my door and he explained about Pertim, said as I wasn't doing anything um, I could at least come and have a look, which I did. I don't think my heart was in some of the things I was going for, but then I think with Pertim, with the coaches, because you had that one-on-one -on -one relationship, you know, they kind of pushed me a bit more and um, you know, got me a job in the end of it after like two weeks. Right. which is really good. I think it's more confidence, building your confidence, because you do get to a point where you think you can't, you're not going to be able to do anything decent. When I say decent, you're better than the jobs that are available to me. Sometimes I've worked for over 13 months, but um, uh, that for me a job within 20 days of being here. <laughs> you can't get better than that. Oh, it's a wonderfully satisfying job. It's a very fulfilling job. Uh, I think anybody who's been here more than a couple of months will realise that it's probably one of the best jobs you can have. Because when you see the results with the people coming through the system, you've finally got them into that training and you've got them into that job. The turnaround in their lives, just the change in those people is, is so apparent and it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Without a doubt, it is working extremely well. I work in a nice environment. Um, I work with a lot of lovely people and um, you know, there's a lot of prospects for me to develop myself and move further up the ladder sort of thing. So, um, that's definitely where I want to be and hopefully in another six months time I might you know get a promotion or you know even better pay really so you know the you know there's no limit really the sky's the limit. And my hopes are in the long run I do want to own my own business, my restaurant, Caribbean food, American food and English food. That's my future right there. <laughs> It's just been a, you know, a magnificent turnaround, particularly in the last couple of months. And with the other organisations that we have, with them coming on board, we're hoping to have, it, throughout the summer, a real good running calendar of events for people with any issue in the community, that then they can come here, access that, and we can get them back into work at the same time. One-stop shop.